There just isn't enough disinfectant at the White House uh, to wash away what the president did and the lies that were told to try to cover it up. I will tell you, Anderson, one of the reasons why he cut short that briefing uh, earlier this evening, my sources tell me, is because the president was upset about the flack he was taking over uh, his comments that people could use disinfectants to kill uh, the coronavirus inside their bodies. Uh, but it goes beyond that, Anderson. We're talking to our sources inside the White House uh, this evening, and they're telling us that there is a discussion going on about uh, uh, paring down these briefings, limiting these briefings, making better use of these briefings is the way one White House official described it, because they feel like the president is getting diminishing returns. But Anderson, I mean, just to go to show you the Soviet style totalitarian like lengths they were going to this evening, they were trying to rearrange the seats in the briefing room. So our colleague, Caitlin Collins, would be stuck in the back of the briefing room instead of being in the front row of the briefing room. And another reporter would be moved to the front of the briefing room. That uh, print reporter, uh, Chris Johnson, thank goodness for him, refused to get up out of his seat. And so it took uh, almost an act of civil disobedience uh, to foil the White House plans. There was a White House official who was saying, well, we're going to get the Secret Service involved if you guys don't switch seats around. And so... <laughs> It's, yeah, it's a, because it's a secure. It's a, a Kaylin Collins is suddenly after what the president said. Kaylin Collins is suddenly a security risk to <laughs> that the Secret Service would be involved. I mean, that's a good use of uh, Secret Service resources. It's remarkable. It's remarkable, Anderson. And you know, Dr. Fauci, Dr. Burks, they weren't there uh, this evening. And, and we've been talking to our sources about some of this. But I will I'll tell you, Anderson, talking to our sources, the scientists who are on the president's coronavirus task force. They are leery of uh, publicly disagreeing with this president to the extent that they're worried about standing behind him and being on camera where their facial expressions can be caught on camera showing, you know, a reaction one way or the other to what the president is saying. And so it's no wonder that inside the White House they're talking about cutting back on these briefings because they can see with their own eyes uh, what the American people are seeing at home. And that is the president uh, imploding from time to time on national television when he's just lying about things and riffing about things that in the case of these disinfectants that he's talking about people injecting in their bodies could be hazardous to people's health. <laughs>